Vernon, from the Bayard. How are you, mate? Good. Yourself? Good, mate. Good. You brought us to a beautiful spot up in the hinterland, up behind the Sunshine Coast. Gorgeous. Is it a secret spot? It's my favourite spot, that's for sure. Bellbirds, peacocks, the whole lot here, but we've also got the Trayon. Tell us a little bit about it, mate. What do we call it? The Trayon? TMO. Stands um, for? Trailer Mount Option. Mate, the whole thing sets up in three minutes. It's pretty, pretty easy, isn't it? That's Let's right. face it. Exactly. This one is called a Gen 3, which is the third generation in line for the trailers that we've been making for 12 years now, but we've only now added them to the production line. Now the 3 also refers to the three separate modules that you can have. The shower, the nose cone storage box, and then the slide-on on on the back of it. Okay, and then the trailer is a completely separate unit on its side. Correct. Well. The thing that I love about this is for a tradesman's point of view, you can drop this trailer off the back and you've got a complete tray You're with a portable site toilet as well. And it's more than just a site toilet, isn't it? This is a shower, hot and cold shower with a nice little uh, sink unit as well, vanity unit. Yep. And the actual uh, ensuite is constructed in the way that it has a shower at the front, a changing area in the middle between the toilet and the shower and then the toilet at the back. And I must mention as well, it's a China Bowl toilet as standard, including a chemical-free conversion kit. So we don't use any chemicals when you're out in the bush. You just basically get rid of the product because all that's in the cassette is waste and water. We've got a complete trailing arm suspension with coil springs. Correct. With shock absorbing override. And it's a very high trailer as well. So great ground clearance. Yes. So it's a 150 by 50 yep, by 3 right. mil galvanised chassis. Hot dip. Hot dip. Hot all dip. the way from the draw bar all the way to the back. To of the back, the correct. But we're towing about 1,300 kilos. What's your correct. gross vehicle mass of? You're looking at two tonne there. Okay, so 700 kilos load weight. Worth of payload, that's correct. Up the front, Vernon, it's, as we said, very, very strong chassis with twin jockey wheels, so that's they right. can be used as levelers as well? Correct, that's the idea behind it. Handbrake is standard, and of course we've got a good solid off-road coupling. What's that coupling, huh? That there is a Halen two-ton. Mm. And it goes on your normal 50 mil ball, which is great because then you don't have to change the ball over to take your boat or something like that. It just goes on the same ball. I'm really impressed with the size of the storage unit here as well. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? That's like it's it. Huge. So we've got a fiberglass front, but coming back into the main unit, we've actually got a composite, haven't we, as far as the construction? Correct. It's an aluminium uh, body with a fiberglass composite roof for the lid, uh, yep. but the structure inside of the Trayon slide-on module by itself is an aluminium framing, and that's where we get our light weight in the slide-on division, but also the structural strength that we require to go to places like Cape York, Stres Lakey Track, Kenning Stock Route, those sort of areas. In our division, we are the lightest for all the features fitted to them, and not only that, our weight is in the right position. So we have two thirds, or 60%, of the Trayon slide-on module's weight within the first one third of the camper. So when it goes on the back of a ute, um, the weight is in the right place. It's directly in. We're, we're not losing steering from the front wheels up in the air. Exactly it's right, mate. The chassis. That's exactly right. Look, the Trion is set up for multi-seasonal and multi-terrain camping. So what it allows for you to do is actually pick that cooktop up and go put it on the outside on, on a provided stand and plug it into a gas burner. 99% of people will cook outside. Absolutely, yeah, you don't want to cook out inside where you're sleeping and living and all the rest exactly. of it generally. So no, that's great. Uh, the big, and they tell me that you've gone to extra lengths on the fridge as well. Yes, we have. That fridge is specifically made in Canada um, and it's a marine grade fridge so it's actually built to go into yachts which go to tropical areas and things like that. The table actually drops down into here so it becomes another small bed as well. Exactly right. For those times you want to take the grandkids with you or if you've got a third person that needs to sleep somewhere, they've got a full bed uh, in this area here. Wonderful. One thing that I'm noticing, you're nice and high off the ground and when you go to Cape York, and you're camping beside that crop filled river. That's it, mate. It's pretty important. You're far away from them. Not only that, when you're up here, the beauty about it is in a high humidity area like that, you're always getting a breeze through here. Mm. And that's why we've got these massive big windows with midge proof fly screen attached to them and good quality Australian made canvas as well. 
It's very roomy up here. Uh, this is actually a queen bed as well um, with a comfort mattress. And then with the windows being as they are, as big as they are, you're allowing for a lot of capability of air movement and then just having to wake up to, you know, the Australian bush. Is, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, no gorgeous. doubt about that. Don't forget the tray on campers are actually modular. So there's actually units available for twin cabs, single cabs, but they can also be fitted to an off-road trailer as well. Vernon, it's the end of the day. We've had a great time here. If you want to find out more about the Trayon Camper, go to Camper Trailer Australia magazine. It's on the shelves right now.